Alright, welcome to the sixth episode of my solo questing only, only series. Um, we had a rough time, on, honestly, on our way to level 25, but we finally reached it. Um, and that means we can pay, play page 25, so um, we will definitely do that. And it also means that we can buy the level 25 machine gun, which I think is very worth it. Um, as you can see, we currently do not have enough bounty though, so um, we'll for sure set up some quest items. And yes, I thought so. We have 99 raw meat, so that's all being sold because all these items don't really have a use in the game. Um, they're only used for bounty, so this one will be sold. Silver earring, also no use. Gold earring has some uses, but uh, it's not too interesting. Um, pickaxe and pom pom meat ca can be sold. Um, I'll probably keep the pickaxe, it's just uh, like we don't need the bounty that badly. And um, yeah, we can, uh, we, we can maybe collect them uh, along our way. Uh, we have these, and this is the time where I'll be selling the duplicate Santa pieces. So uh, I'll try to keep one of everyone, every, every. So um, yeah, I'm already wearing a hat, so I'll sell up all of these. And I'll also sell up all the boots, because I'm wearing the boots already. And as you can see, that brings us over 25k. Um, I can also sell, sell off these, uh, just to avoid clutter in the inventory. Yep, that's everything sold. Um, we can also sell these. Um, that's probably be, will probably be done later because uh, I don't really see a use in wearing them. Um, as you know, they all have the same stats, so the only reason you would keep uh, other clothing items is for fashion sakes <laughs> or something like that style. Um, but yeah, that doesn't really matter to me. Like, or at least these are not too stylish to me. So, alright, we've got enough money now to buy the machine gun. Let's see where it is. Here it is. Okay, and that should definitely help us along our way. Um, and yeah, I was figuring out how to get this together because then now we cannot equip a second weapon. Um, either that or we have to take off uh, a top or anything or a clothing piece. So um, I'll probably go with this. That's the setup I'll go with. Um, it gives us no shirt, so a little bit less HP and AP, but it does give us two machine guns. So this will probably be the layout for uh, for bossing, for sure, so this will for sure be the layout for bossing, but uh, since we'll be going with paging for now, um, let's do it like this, and let's see, so honestly you don't really need a second weapon for uh, paging, so I'll keep it like this, and then we can equip this again, and maybe ring the turkey dinner, just for fun, alright, let's go, this is our first page 25 on the, on the account, Okay, so here we are. Um, yeah, I honestly do not know a lot about the page 25. Um, I haven't played a lot of them. I usually play page 41s because those are pretty much my go-to page. Um, but yeah, what I know about them, is, uh, what I believe is that the last round has one shaman, shaman spawn. And uh, I believe that the third round has one armored goblin. Um, only one, like uh, the same thing as the fourth round of page 30. That's what I think, but we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, so uh, I I hope that this will uh, be a lot of a lot more uh, efficient farm for goblin skulls and dolls than uh, page 13. Page 13 is still a little bit uh, inefficient to me. So. And eventually, it would be great to do page 41. Um, those will be a little bit harder to complete. Like I'm probably not gonna complete complete 100% uh, of them, but. It will be a lot better farm, in my opinion, than page 41, and also a little bit better XP and everything, so that will help. Um, but alright, so um, this page, I hope it will be uh, <laughs> it will be also yielding a little bit more uh, Santa Claus items, so that way we can get a little bit more money, because we spent quite a lot already on the on the machine gun, level 25 machine gun. But the level 25 machine gun also unlocks a uh, well, will make some bosses uh, a lot better. For example, uh, Fake Goblin King. I think I can take him down without ever killing uh, an NPC. Like I'm not. I don't need money. Uh, ammo. I'm sorry. Not money. <laughs> I'll need. I don't. I won't need uh, ammo from an NPC. Uh, whereas for the starter machine gun, I did. So. Uh, so we'll definitely check that out this uh, this episode. But let's try to farm from some page 25 first. And uh, it also it will also help to 
try to get familiar with this page like uh, the assumptions I just made for uh, one shaman only and uh, the amount of stunners for example will also matter um, the, uh, getting to know that is, uh, is probably going to be important since we'll be playing a lot of page 25s uh, it will take a while before we are level 41 so Oh, <laughs> I dropped that and picked it up immediately. Okay, so this is the third round. That's one stunner. Let's try to count them. Um, I'll try to stay here. That way the shooters will come to me. Because they cannot reach me, they will uh, have to reach, walk all the way to this corner. Um, so I'll let them come to me instead of me coming to them. Raw meat. Yes, as expected. Okay, so there's uh, the second one. I'll try to count them as I kill them, the stunners, that way I, I know I don't uh, do a double count or something. Okay, and that's the probably the only one uh, armored goblin. If that's the case then I was right. Um, honestly that doesn't really matter, like it's only a fun fact. But, uh, luckily we'll be getting a lot of more a lot more uh, armored goblins from this, this level on, this round onwards. So that's the turret, and there are only three stunners in this round. Assuming that it will be the same for every page, by the way, <laughs> I think so. Um, but well, uh, I'll try to count it at, at other pages as well and uh, see if it, that's actually the case. But I believe it should be the the same the same amount for every uh, level. Like. Okay, so round four, that's one stunner. That's two stunners. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Getting stunts all, always so scary. Okay, that's two stunners. And I would love to have a, get a better sword, by the way. Um, okay, that's three stunners. Honestly, if you were quest if I were questing with others, then um, a great sword and generally easy sword to get is the battle axe from the giant fisherman. Oh 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 oh. Okay, that is the fourth stunner. And there over there somewhere is the sixth, uh, the, the fifth and sixth. So that's five. And that's six. Okay, awesome. Oh, okay. I thought that would be all of them, but maybe there are eight then. But that's the seventh stunner. Let's try to play it a little bit safe. I don't want to die on this uh, first page. That would be all, uh, awful. Okay, so that's seven stunners. That's uh, an odd number. I <laughs> didn't expect that, but. Alright, that's a good thing to know, um, that we know how many stunners we have to kill um, for the next round, like for every page, then I know how many will spawn. Um, there's one stunner. And there should be one shaman, yes, there it is. Uh, I'm glad he didn't stun me. Um, I killed one stunner so far. There are two. What is that box? Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't see it. That's three stunners. That's four stunners. Okay, so that fourth round might not have the most stunners. That's what I thought. I thought the fourth round had the most stunners. That might not be the case. That's... Oh man, I already lost track. I think this is the sixth or the fifth. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> but I'll definitely recount them another page uh, to make sure that the, that the amount is the same every page. Which of course is important. Which is a stake probably, so this didn't really matter. Oh. And okay, so that's the seventh if I'm counting correctly. I think that both rounds have the same amount of stunner. I'm really curious what loot is. I don't think we have uh, gotten a, a lot better loot than uh, our average page 13, honestly. But <laughs> it should be better because we are getting a lot, of, lot more uh, armored goblins, and we also have a shot at getting a, a necklace. It's only one chance, like only one drop chance, but uh, still, it's something. So let's see the loot. It's one goblin skull and four dolls. Okay, that's actually great. And uh, I also got Santa Claus boots, so that's one. 25k bounty, awesome, and for dolls that kind of evens our uh, loot we've been getting so far for, from uh, skulls and dolls, 
18 and 5. Okay, so that, that's great. That gives us uh, a lot more chances at the uh, fake Goblin King. Um, I'll probably do a few more page 25 of recording and I'll show you the loot every time. Um, I think I'll buy... We have 10k bounty, so um, considering that, I think I'll buy 10 because we'll eventually be using all of these anyway. Um, so, okay, I'll do probably two or three more um, and I'll report back with the loot and let's do some bossing afterwards. Alright, so as you can see in chat, we got some items already this fourth round and uh, we're going into the last round last round now. Um, I'll just drop these, just safety measures, you don't want to fail the page, uh, it's just <laughs> unnecessary. So um, yeah, let's skip through the page. page. Alright, and as you can see we got a Crimson's necklace and uh, a lot more goblin dolls and skulls than uh, the last, than the first page we did actually. Um, so yeah, that's great. <laughs> also, uh, we got this Pompo doll. Takes a while to get rid of him. But luckily this uh, upgraded machine gun, or at least a 25, level 25 machine gun, compared to the starter machine gun also adds a little bit of uh, efficiency here, since we can kill him a little bit faster. So. Alright. Awesome, great loot. Um, I forgot to count again, by the way, <laughs> the, how many stunners there are on each round, which is uh, pretty important, so I'll definitely uh, count it next round. I do, uh, I'm do. i a little bit better at counting when I'm not recording, so <laughs> I'll do that for sure the next page or so. Alright, five skulls, one crimson necklace, which is awesome, uh, three dolls and a pompo doll. Let's uh, get straight into the next one. Alright, that's round 4, and um, I actually counted this time the first, like the third round we have 3 um, stunners, uh, the fourth round we had, let's see, we had uh, 7 stunners, so that's correctly, counted that correctly last time, uh, let's try to count how many we have this round, the last round, that's 1, that's 2 over there, and that's the third, which just spawned, okay, that's 3. And I'm also going to level up, by the way, at the end of this round. Um, that's 4. This should be 4. Yes, okay. This is Mr. 5. Okay, actually uh, trying to my best to count right now. That's 6. Oh. Let's get him first before we count. And that's the 7th. Uh, this is the 7th. Okay, so I believe that's all. I believe there are no more than 7 this round. Uh, at least I hope not. There's also a shaman, yes, he's here. Oh, he hit me first. Alright. That's uh, a raw meat or something over there, by the way. Season meat, okay. The end of this page. All right, some goblin, some more goblin skulls, and 190 90 kills. So um, yeah, so the amount of stunners is three, seven, seven, um, and that is for round three, four, and five. And this should also be the level up, level 26. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Let's see what the loot is. And um, this is our third page, 25. Five goblin dolls, awesome. Santa Claus bottoms, that's some more bounty. And two goblin skulls, awesome. Um, we're doing pretty good. Um, I would love to get a few more dolls, uh, so I'll probably do two more pages. I uh, you know what, let's make it three more pages, so we're at uh, five. Then we did a total of six pages, and um, then we can um, move on to bossing. All right, that's the fourth round, and um, we're starting the fifth round right now. Good map, by the way. Um, th this is the easiest map in mansion, in my opinion. Uh, but let's try to not die and 
probably gonna skip through this page anyway. So. Alright, and that's the end of the page. Um, let's see what loot we get. I don't think we got a lot of loot this time, but we got a pump auto again. So yeah, that's the fourth page. Alright, not a lot of loot at all, unfortunately, but two goblin skull, two goblin dolls, and a pump auto. Um, I've kind of changed my mind, um, we have done 4 pages right now, I will do one more page mention and um, I'll actually keep the second, the last page mentioned, um, the last page 25 I'm sorry that I wanted to do as a surprise for after this page, let's get it. Alright, that's the 4th round again, that's a raw meat, or seasoned, yes of course. <laughs> Always the shooters, which stay alive at the end. Um, Alright, so this is the fourth round, as you can see in chat, we got some skulls already, but um, yeah, let's speed through this last round and see what the loot is. Alright, so that's the end of the page, no um, Crimson's Necklace, no Pompo unfortunately, but um, let's see what loot we got in the Skulls and Dolls. <coughs> and that's three Goblin Skulls and no Goblin Dolls, uh, one Santa Claus hat. I'm getting terrible loot unfortunately on these pages, but um, yeah, so what I was thinking, we have done... 20, uh, 5 page 25s I'm mentioned right now and um, the rusty sword, the trusty rusty is, uh, is a great sword but um, it would make our pages a lot more efficient if I had a, if we had a higher level sword so um, yeah the first thing we can do is always like buy it in the shop of course we can buy this level 25 sword which is not bad but it's a lot of bounty which we do not have um, it would be a lot more damage, as you can see it's it's 22 damage, so this is a sword that, would, that I would like if, um, if I'm buying a sword. This is a great sword as well, but it's 18 damage, this is 15 damage, it's not gonna increase a lot, it's mostly uh, the weight, which is less. Uh, Dark Karma and every, every sword below that is not uh, a great increase, so um, the only sword that would be viable is this sword. Um, we don't have enough bounty yet, well, uh, not including the 100k that is, of course. Yes, so what you would normally like to do if you're not questing uh, solo only, um, you would like to get a sword from quest, from the quest itself, because that's free and uh, it's also a decent upgrade from the rusty sword. Um, there are quite a few swords to get from quest, which are possible to get from quest, but there uh, are a few which are likely or generally easy to get. Uh, the Demon Bringer, it has a low drop rate, but this boss is often played and it's not, uh, it's not rare like it's not weird to get this sword so uh, this sword um, there are three swords like I said they're both they're all three come like similar stats uh, similar weight uh, delay uh, and damage they're all around 20 or 21 damage so uh, either get this sword or get uh, the one from giant lizard man which is the battle axe 20% uh, drop rate this boss is pretty fast so it also gets played a lot and 20% uh, drop rate it, it should drop uh, every so often and the last one you can get is from the uh, Dwarf Goblin King, the Golden Goblin Clip Club. It has a pretty high drop rate, but this boss doesn't get played a lot because um, you can get from the... You, you need the Goblin King's skull for the Thunder Goblin King as well. And this gets played more often because it drops the Goblin King's axe uh, for 40% so the double the drop rate of the Dwarf Goblin King. And it also drops the Thunder's Machine Gun, which is an awesome item. Um, a lot of people probably don't have this yet, or at, unless you're really high level. So. This is a much sought after item. So for sure this boss is definitely better. Um, nevertheless, since our pages could be increasing a lot, like the efficiency of our pages could be increasing a lot if we had a lot higher sword, um, I'm gonna try to go for this because we have one goblin, 
Goblin King Skull and um, yeah, none less. So it's the only one we have and we can eventually probably get more but I'm gonna give it one try and uh, of course we have a 40% drop rate as you just saw so that's a chance of 2 in 5. Uh, oh, let's see mention of course so we have a 40% drop rate and let's hope we can get it if we do not that's a pity but um, let's see if we can get it and let's gear up. Okay, so we should unequip the sword. Oh, not in shot. Unequip the, the shirt, I'm sorry, and bring this one and bring two ammos. So we should play it really, really careful because we do not want to die. Um, rusty sword and basic, basic machine guns. No mats, so it will be dangerous for sure. And also a little bit decreased uh, HP AP sets, but it will be dangerous. But let's try to get it in. All right, good luck. Dwarf Goblin King, here we come. Alright, um, we can, by the way, it's hard for this boss to distinguish which the boss is, but um, like who the boss is because he looks like all the other guys. Um, the, the strategy for this boss is honestly not too hard, it's basically just running around and uh, trying to shoot all these guys. Kill all the NPCs because there are limited NPCs on this uh, boss. It will take a while, especially with our uh, level 25 machine gun. Okay, that's not a hit I would. I was expecting from there. So, that's one kill. Okay, awesome. Um, I believe there are 26 NPCs in total. So, uh, that should be... Uh, <laughs> we were well on our way with one kill. Two kills, okay, awesome. That's the third kill. And it would be nice if we could get some ammo drops because that would make this boss a lot faster. Um, we eventually will end up with the boss only, so uh, we can so we can like sword him. That's not a problem, but it does take a long time. So it would be nice if we can get some ammo drops. No ammo drops yet. That's unfortunately uh, unfortunate. Seven kills and no ammo drops, but let's keep hope. It's by the way uh, a pain how these uh, these guys spawn, and um, as you probably know if you've played this game, uh, there's this thing where they immediately hit you when they spawn. Uh, it's a little bit annoying, <laughs> like it can get you a lot of times, but let's try to not get hit by that. And does he drop an ammo? He does! That's our first ammo drop, great. That's 10 KOs, that's that an ammo, that's not. Um, we don't really need this AP, but that's okay. And that's an ammo drop, nice. <laughs> and these guys drops bo drop boxes, by the way, or uh, chests, and that's uh, seasoned meat. Don't ask me why, it's really weird. But. And another seasoned meat. So I don't pass up on that. 320 bounty. More ammo, awesome. Oh, okay, well, I'm uh, unfortunately gonna have to miss that one. I'm not gonna risk losing this boss, losing this Goblin King spell for uh, 20 bounty, <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> and as you can see these guys have quite some HP, especially uh, for the level 25 machine gun. Takes a while to get them down. Alright. Oh, I got hit. Okay, we're almost there. 23, so it should be 26 uh, NPCs. 24. Uh, that's 25. Okay, so the boss is uh, the 26th NPC. <laughs> Alright, so now it's only the boss and um, honestly this guy is uh, he's not much of a threat, honestly. Um, it's the same thing with Thunder Goblin King. Uh, when they're by themselves it's not a problem at all. Uh, so he has a few attacks. He has this fireball attack. He has another attack, this one, uh, where he will either heal his enemies. This was the heal enemies part, but there are no... Uh, I mean his allies, I'm sorry, so my enemies. He will heal his uh, friends. 
and this is another one. Okay, no, this is not the other one. This is the so he has three animations. Uh, this animation for three different attacks. One is the fireball, one is this one, the small fireball, which is also in dungeon. Uh, you can just lead it into the pillar and it will disappear. And then um, he also does it to heal his allies. So he has that attack animation three times at least. Um, he has his hammer stun, of course. This one, which has the Goblin King, has fake Goblin King, the Thunder Goblin King, they all have that. Um, also, be, don't be fooled by the by the small fireballs. They aren't, actually have a really high range. Like you'll probably get eas uh, hit by them easily, so be careful. All right, and uh, yeah, let's really hope that we get this uh, this Golden Goblin Club. That would be awesome. Would make our pages a lot more efficient, and we have a chance of two out of five. So. Not a bad chance. And apparently we have uh, a lot, ammo, a lot uh, of ammo. We have one more clip left, so honestly works out great. All right, and that's the dwarf, dwarf goblin king. Let's see what item we get. It's the only one we can do, so... Golden Goblin Club, awesome! Okay, we got a little bit lucky. It's a chance of 2 out of 5, but that saves us quite some bounty in the in the shop. And we level up. Awesome. Well, it, I couldn't have predicted uh, or wanted it any better, so... Awesome, we got the, the sword. That saves us the bounty from... Let's see, the Thunderbird sword. And also, uh, it has, has quite high delay, as you can see, 399, so... That's uh, something we'd rather not get. Um, yeah, this is a sword we'll probably not equip while bossing because we cannot. It has a high weight, 15 weight, and uh, versus the 10 weight of the rusty sword. And while bossing, you don't really use the sword a lot anyway. Um, so it will mostly be for paging. And when we are doing pages, we will equip something like that. And um, all right, awesome. So now we can do a few more pages, and after that, we'll boss. Oh, and I think I saw. Can sell these? Yes, 88. Let's sell these. Uh, that's a, a bit more bounty. Yes. All right. Awesome. Okay. Let's farm a few more pages and go for the Goblin King. Go for the Goblin King skull and do Thunder Goblin King in uh, in hopes to get that be famed uh, Thunder Machine Gun. All right. Let's go. Uh, 